Yeah, here is the question. Someone is going through the pages. Yes, sing notes. Right, so if you have read and understood, kindly begin your station. Hi. Good, um, good morning, uh, Mr. Tom. No, good morning. Sorry. Okay. Good morning, I am the surgical doctor on call. Uh, may I please confirm your name and age, please? Okay, Hello. Doctor, my name is uh, John. Tom. And I, my name is Tom. I'm 68 years old. Good. Okay, thank you, Tom. Um, I am the surgical doctor on call, like I said, and then I've been asked by my um, consultant um, to explain um, the procedure for you, that uh, the, the operation for you. So um, before we start, I want you to know what you know about um, the operation. Yes. Hello. Hello. Yes. Explain uh, if you can. Can you please? Hello. Yes. Can you hear? Me? Yes, please. Can you explain how much you know about your procedure? Okay. Well. Uh, um, as far as I know, I have a tumor in my brain, and for this, I have okay. been advised for a surgery. Seem to be okay. Okay, doctor. So, um, doctor, um, so, sorry, Mr. Tom. So, uh, we're going to perform an operation on you. That's my con my boss is going to do that. So, what he's going to do is is a craniotomy because you have a brain tumor. Um, brain tumor meaning there is something in the brain that is growing and then um, you will need a, a surgery that you will have to open up the part of the uh, bone, bony part of the, um, the head and then so that you can remove the tumor. So but um, in this tumor um, there's risk of also um, uh, bleeding. And yes. then you also you might also need um transfusion of blood. Okay. Okay. Do you understand um what I've explained to you? Yes, Mr. Tom? I understand. But uh, okay. is this is this transfusion necessary? Is it not avoidable? Um, yes, Mr. Tom. Um, the transfusion is necessary. Uh, because it is a brain tumor and then it has a likelihood of bleeding. So uh, in case we're in the OT, uh, we're in the theater opera, uh, during the operation and then you have a bleeding, um, you, will need, you will need to be transfused. That's why we want to give you um, the blood, the four units of the blood. Tell the alternatives. Okay. What other? Yes, I know also, available. but we also have an alternative. If you are not going to be transfused, we can do um, some um, measurements for you, whereby before you get operated, we can um, collect your blood um, um, weeks before and then store it um, so that uh, you can be transfused, your, your own blood, 
um, during the surgery, or we can start you on a medication called erythropoietin, which can be also given to you um, weeks before surgery to boost up your uh, blood level so that um, uh, the units will go up and also to hydrate you very well so that you won't be, you will need um, um, much blood. And also um, the alternatives will be for the surgeon that is going to have a fast surgeon who knows very well how to get in and out of the surgery as well. Okay. If this, uh, this guy could die. Hello. Yes. But doctor, what if, what if we don't uh, go for is this it? blood transfusion? What if we avoid this? Is it possible? What if? If you don't what give if? blood. What if you don't give the blood? Yes. 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 So if we don't give, if so, if we don't give the blood, and then we don't do all the other alternatives as well, um, the risk of bleeding in the, uh, t uh, during the operation is high, and then the likelihood of you dying is also high. Good. Yes. Thank Any you. other concern? Can you please explain what my possible complications can happen if I agree for this blood transfusion? So um, the blood transfusion, you can have uh, immediate complications and then less complications. The immediate complications, whereby you can react to the blood, whereby you can um, have hemolysis, whereby, which is breaking down of your blood cells. And then you can have your... Um, a, B, um, the, how do you call it, you, your antibodies and then the antigen, um, um, which are, they will be fighting. So it's like you'll have a reaction. Let me just say it that way. You have a reaction in which that you can go into shock and then you can also die. And then um, you can also have your organs being damaged because of complications of blood transfusion. Okay. Any other concern about the blood transfusion? These are these are part of the complications, but there are benefits as well. So, how do we prevent these complications? Are you going to do some tests before um, before you transfuse me? Because this can actually cost me my life. Am I going to? Yes. So we are going to do um, in test for you. We'll have to do your AB, what we call the ABO um, uh, test for you to see if your your blood is compatible with the one that we are going to transfuse you with. And also we'll check your resus as well. So we'll have to cross cross check all, the, all that. So um, do you understand what I've explained from the beginning? about yes, uh, the blood transfusion and then if you have agreed to it. Yes, doctor, I, I understand. Uh, thank you very much for explaining it to me. And I agree yes, well, uh, with transfusions, yes. Okay, okay. Um, Mr. Tom, therefore, we'll, we'll, um, I have confirmed that you have, uh, you have understood everything and then I'll put it in the notes as well. And then I'll inform um, everyone involved in the surgery that you have agreed to be transfused um, if necessary. Good. Good, Dr. Right. Fatimata. This was like your first time, but still uh, see if you'll practice, you can do it better. Both of you here problem was that this was Jehovah's Witness. Okay. And Jehovah's Witness, once they refuse a blood transfusion, yes, it's because of religious, yes, it's because of religious reasons, and you don't convince patient to have blood transfusion. Like you give them alternative that okay, we will. And the one alternative that you yes. give, if we don't give that for uh, cancer, cell salvager, we don't do that for tumors. 
because seedlings you know you can't take the blood of a cancer patient and yes. give the same mm -hmm. blood to the patient because it cancer can cause patient, seed, yes. seedlings yes of the tumor of the cancer so that option you should mm -hmm. obsolete that you should not offer at all but okay. all the others yes. offers yes. Uh, the options that you offer erythropoietin and all the others even hydration it was excellent it was good but then at the end you should have con you should have uh, made a promise or commitment that okay i'll write it down everywhere no matter what no one will uh, transfuse you any blood we respect your decision and like it was like it's a holy thing you have to respect someone's religious beliefs and you have to make commitment yeah. accordingly because you are explaining everything to the patient patient still says no i'm sorry i still cannot take the blood transfusion uh, i'll say okay. yes to other alternatives and then you can say okay we'll because hemoglobin is also low so you'll prepare the patient you'll tell them okay we'll prepare you and we'll then do then we'll do the surgery but still you have to convince like you have to make the patient say okay patient understands the risk and patient is willing to accept all the risks and complications and still not accept the blood transfusion okay. yeah am i talking too much okay. can anyone else please no, give no, the no. feedback no 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 it was a good explanation sorry yes <laughs> but now see dr osaf now you are uh, on even on the other side you are answering so in this way you are also learning how stations could be because this station may not yeah. come but still if it if it will come then you have to know that in certain religions or certain cultures when they yeah. say something because of that you have to respect yeah. that so it's just yes, that message good yes, excellent yes right excellent yes thank you Thank and you. at the end yes she uh, she made you explain so in that sense in that way she even checked the capacity of the patient that was good yeah and patient said yes i understand all the complications and even patient was asking for the complications so it was good yes and it was covered yeah. within the given time so i'm happy for the time you people took the yeah given time it was just that one little thing which was not a big okay. thing because here i did not stress on the fact that you have to i said all right convince each other we'll see who convinces who all right nice practice excellent okay.